Hi, I'm Lisa, your rock and roll realtor, and this is part three of my four videos covering the state measures that are on the November ballot. Now I'm covering three measures per video, and if you haven't seen parts one and two yet, you can do so by clicking here. Now in this video, I'm going to be covering measures 20, 21, and 22. But before I get started, I'd like to ask you to subscribe and like and comment if there are any topics that you'd like for me to cover or have any real estate needs. State measure 20, parole restrictions. Now, voting yes increases penalties on people who have committed misdemeanors, including theft and drug crimes. And it increases a list of crimes that are required to collect DNA samples, and it can change a crime from a misdemeanor to a felony, and would roll back the changes within the past decade that were intended to reduce the inmate population of California. Voting no means keeping in place the recently passed criminal justice reform. Supporters include the California Correctional Peace Officers Association, and those opposed include the California Democratic Party and former Governor Jerry Brown. State Measure 21, Rent Control. Now, voting yes means that local governments can cap rent increases on housing that is more than 15 years old. It does not affect landlords who own fewer than three properties. Voting no means keeping the current restrictions that prevent local governments from imposing rent control on housing built after 1995 or earlier, like in Los Angeles, where most apartments constructed after 1978 can't be restricted. Now, supporters include the Los Angeles Tenants Union, and those imposed include Governor Gavin Newsom, who cited that he has already signed a law in 2019 that already caps rent increases across the state to 5% plus inflation. State Measure 22, Independent Contractors. Voting yes means allowing Uber, Lyft, and other rideshare delivery companies to classify their drivers as independent contractors as opposed to employees. This would mean that the companies would not be required to offer benefits, minimum wage, or sick pay. Voting no means that these corporations will not be exempt from providing their drivers from wage protection and health benefits. Check out my next video where I'll be covering three more measures. And again, please subscribe and like if you have any real estate needs, please get in touch. My information is listed below.